What, uh, what brings you to the fair, Miss Brewer? Well, I'm just down here to enjoy myself and eat some food, look at the exhibits, and uh, enjoy this beautiful day uh, here in Arizona. Very good. Um, can you tell me uh, what uh, what, you, what is your experience as governor now for what uh, over a year now? It's almost. almost been a year. You know, it's been uh, a lot of uh, learning and it's certainly uh, serving at one of the. Got to start over there. Can you cut it? Yeah, go ahead. Got to start over there. Can you cut it? Yeah, go ahead. Well, I've been really, really busy, of course, you know, taking over at a time when we were facing the largest crisis in the state of Arizona, you know, we're facing a $2 billion deficit currently, and that's just for this year. So we've had a lot of work on our hands, but we're going to solve it. We're going to turn Arizona around and uh, be prosperous again and be that wonderful state that everybody loves. Great. Uh, turning to a timely topic, uh, it was Friday the Maricona, Maricopa County Health Department started issuing the uh, H1N1 vaccines uh, around the valley and elsewhere in the state. Uh, and then, of course, the president uh, declared a state of health emergency just uh, late Friday evening. Uh, what, what is your office doing in response to this, and how are you handling this well, situation? Certainly the Department of Health Services and the Maricopa and the other county health departments are working very uh, diligently into getting those vaccines out there and monitoring it, informing everybody uh, in every media way possible through the newspaper, television, radio, and through schools to make sure that everybody understands that it is a very uh, contagious flu that we're embarked upon and it's going to probably get worse as it gets cooler. And we want to be sure that the younger children and the first responders get the vaccinations and the inoculations first and then the adults later. So we're working on it and we're getting it in here from the CDC and uh, we hope that we can keep it under control uh, here in Arizona. Great. Uh, people are, uh, there are concerns that uh, there may be a plan to uh, uh, mandate vaccines for first responders, medical workers, uh, ch uh, you know, fire, fire and police. So do you have any comments on forced va vaccinations? No, I don't believe that will ever happen. Uh, are you comfortable that your office has the ability to uh, mandate such a vaccine? No, I'm not comfortable. You, so That's it. <laughs> would, you, would you advocate to get rid of that power in your re-election? Go on Facebook. Go on my Facebook page. Do you have a Facebook page? Oops. 